Yo, since ZZZ is coming out very soon, I wanted to make a video about if ZZZ is a break from Withering Waves, will people quit Withering Waves for Zelda Zone Zero, and will the game actually be good? This video is purely my opinion, and there is a lot of misconceptions about Zelda Zone Zero that is happening these days, and I'm actually here to correct that. So first of all, so many people are saying that Zelda Zone Zero will be dead on arrival, it won't be a good game, and this is because of the first CBT of the game. The way you have to approach the content in the game wasn't that good and you know that i'm someone who criticizes hoyo a lot who criticizes genshin but since they got a lot of backlash because of the first cbt they changed a lot of things and i'm gonna tell you this the game looks great there's a lot of diversity in the gameplay they fixed a lot of the content in the game there's more things to do and for the people who like story the story looks very very promising so i don't like this hate coming towards zelda zone zero which is unjustifiable because of clueless people who didn't see the other beta now let's talk about zelda zone zero and weathering waves this is the main thing that i want to talk about in the video so the launch of zelda zone zero is gonna be huge regardless of what people think i'm pretty sure most of you want to try the game and i'm glad that we're getting the version 1.1 in three or four days on weathering waves because then this coming in like two weeks is a very good timing and it will definitely be a break from weathering waves because at this time we will not even have content in weathering waves and that's something that we should understand you can play both games so will it be a break yes but will people make zenless zone zero their main game instead of weathering waves the amount of content in zenless currently will not be enough for it to be a main game but the main thing is i look at zenless like the hoyo game that will be full of end game content in the future so for people who want to know life zenless zone zero i probably think that this will happen like in one year from now zenless will have so much content and even more than hsr and this is like an approach from Hoyaverse. They're trying to, you know, make every game that they make a little different. So when I look at it from this perspective, yes, I think that Zenless in the future will be even better. But even with saying that, the game isn't difficult. We will not find something as exciting as the hologram bosses in Weathering Waves. And I'm not seeing myself quitting Weathering Waves for Zenless Zone Zero. Even though the gameplay is very similar, Weathering Waves is better in some things and even Zenless is better in some other things. So for this question, I think that most people are not gonna quit weathering waves for zenless zone zero but what i know for sure is that zenless zone zero is going to be optimized at least better than weathering waves hoyverse has more experience and they know what they do with this and i think that a lot of people who still cannot play weathering waves are gonna be able to play zenless zone zero and this is actually a good thing for the game especially for those people but i'm expecting these people to be free to play because if you don't have a good phone or a good pc you don't have that much money to spend on a gacha game unless you want to be a loser and waste your life but these are gonna be free to play people but they will give viewership to the game they will contribute to making the game even more successful so i wanted to make this video to assure people that zenless zone zero is going to be a very good game we will have so much fun in the game as any new gacha game and then the cycle will begin again and we will even have more fun in future updates but will zenless be better than weathering waves i think that zenless zone zero will give us some other content that we do not have in weathering waves that is more casual that we might play it for some time and enjoy both because let me call kuro stands a little here you know that i make a lot of weathering waves content you know that it's my favorite game in the last month but you stands need to stop hating on zelda zone zero just because it's a contestant or contender with weathering waves this is very good actually we need zelda zone zero to succeed to make weathering waves even better and we need weathering waves to succeed to make zelda even better like these people are just so afraid that their money will be lost like you're spending money on gacha games from the start and i hate when these people pretend that they know anything about developing a game or how a game depends only on them to be successful no these people do not have any idea of how the gaming industry works they only play genshin or weathering waves they only play like two games which are gacha games to be fair both are still in early stage we don't know what approach will they go with i really hope that weathering waves adds more end game a lot of people want that and a lot of other people do not want it and then they are afraid of it happening but we need that one company that will try to do this okay and i hope that zealous or weathering waves produce this and make this a new meta in the gacha sphere also guys i appreciate the support in the latest videos that's it i finished yapping also how the hell do we have less subs than hex juice subscribe now that was the video bye bye